I can do this. I have so much anxiety right now, it's crazy, but I always knew that one day I would make this video, I just didn't know when, and today's the day. So I know I have my original series, Blood Queens, going up on my channel this month, and I said in a vlog before I started posting Blood Queens, if anything comes up, anything crazy, I'm gonna make a vlog and I'm not gonna stick to just posting Blood Queens, I will upload a video if it's necessary. It is necessary. Since it's Mental Health Awareness Day, I thought there was no better day than to post this video today and to film it today. Last night, I had probably one of the strongest anxiety attacks of my life. And every time I have an anxiety attack, it's revolved around one specific trauma. I mean, I've gone through multiple traumas in my life, but there's like this one specific one that I just like have not mentioned anywhere online. And I think it's because I'm humiliated. I'm not gonna target or give any hints to who this involved. I grew up physically assaulted on the regular by someone that I admired and loved. And so was Nikki. I have so hard fought myself from filming this video because I'm scared of you guys making up your own theories and targeting people and going after them. Nikki and I were four years old when we experienced this for the first time. And it only got worse as we got older. As you get older, you start realizing that's not right. When you're young, you have no idea what's right and what's wrong. You don't, you don't know when something's messed up. I remember the first time that physical violence was spoken about in school. And that's when I realized something wasn't right. I thought it was just discipline and I didn't want to view this person as a bad person because I love this person and I was fighting so hard to get this person's attention in a positive way and I could never do right in this person's eyes. And because of that, because I could never do right in this person's eyes, it has totally affected my adult relationships with friends, ex-boyfriends. I stay in shitty situations because I wanna prove something to myself because of that trauma. I know a lot of you guys ask me why I stayed with an ex-boyfriend of five years who compulsively cheated on me. And I always ask myself that. I'm like, why did I stay with blank? Why did I stay with him? I latched on to him because I just wanted to prove to myself that I was worthy of love. My best friend died at 14 years old the year before. So I was just super vulnerable to getting in a situation like that. It was just that need to look for approval. Even though I knew my ex was like cheating on me all the time, I think I just stayed to prove something to myself, like I could win him over those girls. It always went back to trying to prove to myself that I'm worth something. I lost all my self-worth growing up, getting used to being slapped, strangled, punched, dragged by someone that I loved, someone that I saw regularly. I really hope I upload this video. I, you know how many times I've tried to film a video like this and it just never makes it to the internet? I remember cutting myself on my 14th birthday because this person kept doing it. So then when I was 15, that's when I met my ex of five years that cheated on me compulsively. I leaned on him to prove to myself that I was worthy of love. He wronged me too. He cheated on me compulsively. There was a rumor going around in school that he was going to cheat on me with his best friend, that's a girl, if... I didn't give him my virginity and I was 15. I didn't want to give him my virginity. I had a purity ring. I clinged to him so hard that I told him that I would give him my virginity on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day came around. We're at his house. We're in his basement. One thing led to the other and as soon as it all started, I said, stop. It hurt. I knew it was wrong and I didn't want, at that moment, I knew I didn't want that. And he kept going and I told him to stop. I wanted him to stop. Because of that, I felt like I had to stay with him because I gave him my virginity, but I didn't want to, and I told him that. I was 15 and he was 18. A year later, I found out that same month, he still cheated on me with that girl. I felt like I owed it to myself to stay with the person who did that to me because I was Catholic and I wanted to marry the person I gave that part of myself to. I'm so glad I stumbled upon Colin when I did. Colin is just my best friend and he, he has been the only person that I've been going to about this him and his family god bless all of them you guys are my best friends and it's so weird to have like 
a really tight relationship with a bunch of people, an audience of people, and a few of the biggest things in your life you have never told them about. Let them know what I'm going through so they can be there for me and understand me more. My message to you guys is that no matter how low you are, no matter what you're going through, you don't need someone else to validate how special you are, how incredible you are, the things that you're capable of. You don't need someone to tell you what you can or can't do. And I just want to be that older sister that's there for you guys. And if you're going through anything like I just explained to you that I went through, I want to help you. I'm so thankful for what I have right now, where I am. If 18 year old me saw where the hell I am right now, I'd be shook. God is so powerful whether you believe in him or not or her. There's so much power and faith and by trusting him to guide you to where you're supposed to be and not using other people to replace his power. His power is the strongest and is the most righteous and it's so easy to get distracted by these people that we think matter so much, but in comparison to God, mean nothing. But now that I got that off my chest, I feel like we all understand each other better. I feel like a weight is lifted off my chest right now. So hopefully I post this because this is a great feeling. I know it's just sitting on my camera right now and it's not on the internet yet. I don't want pity from you guys. That's not why I made this video. I just felt like I was hiding so much from you guys. If any of you guys are stuck in a bedroom at home going through the same things, just know that there is a world outside of that and, and don't let anything hold you back. Pretty positive, all of that has brought me to where I am now. I love you, you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching my show, that means so much to me. Yeah, that's it, that's all I'm gonna say for this video. I don't wanna talk too much and take away from the meaning of this video. I love you and stay tuned for the next Blood Queens episode on Tuesday and I'll see you in a fancy vlog coming in two weeks.